Good morning. It is Friday, January 28th, and today is a rather big day. Um, I have been at a standstill for over a week now trying to get more work done on Coco, mainly because of the weather. And I know I was supposed to post a video up last weekend, and much to my devastation and frustration, half the video when I tried to upload it, half the video was completely distorted. Um, the resolution just was terrible. So in a future video, I will chop up that one and take the pieces that I can salvage and add some, you know, before and, and as the process went through photographs to show you how I got to the point that I'm at right now, because a lot is different from my last video. Um, yeah, so I am in a garage. One of my clients actually was gracious enough to offer the use of her garage while they're all at work today. So I have six hours in a garage with my heater running so I can get everything to temperature so my spray foam insulation will cure. I am elated. So I'm gonna vacuum Coco out because it's all messy from me ripping the original floor out, get her cleaned up, wipe her down, and I will start spraying. I'll, I'll turn this back on and let you guys see the process. It's going to be an exciting day. You like the new bed? Huh? You like the new bed, baby? Yeah? Whoa! Hi! Hello! Hello, sweetness. Hello! Thank you! Good morning, everybody. My name is Robin. I'm currently sitting in Coco, my minivan camper conversion that I am moving into full time. Welcome to my channel. Um, this is a video that I did not expect to be making after all of the planning that has been going on for years and um, the progression of the last couple videos that I had. So in the time since the last video, I did complete the rebuild of Coco. And as you can see, she's cute and cozy. This is the couch that converts into a bed. Here's the problem, I hate it. <laughs> Um, if there is anything I tried to stress in my first few videos, it is that I am a little neurotic. I have ADHD, I have anxiety, I've got depression, um, I am 40 years old, and no, it's not a midlife crisis because this is a labor of love that started many years ago. Um, but I hate the bed. The bed is what I hate. It's completely uncomfortable. I slept in it for two nights and I pay for it for an entire week. Um, I'm in pain, my back is killing me, I've got muscles screaming at me that I didn't even know I could anger. So I have a new plan. I'm really happy with this plan. I'm excited about it. I'm ripping the bed out and I'm gonna do it today. Um, I just got done getting ready for work at my favorite spot to get ready on a work day parking lot of my storage unit location <laughs> um but yeah I'm I'm gonna go to work I'll be on the job site for about three hours and then when I'm done I'm going to drive back out to my parents house get my drill an extension cord and I'm gonna rip this sucker out um yeah no regrets
full disclosure, um, there are people that will post pictures online of things that they've done in their vans and they look cute and they look adorable, but don't be deceived. Not everything is as it appears. Um, I will put pictures up of previous builds in this particular van. And even though it looks adorable, the first build just didn't function properly for me, especially in the winter. Um, I had serious draft issues. And even though the bed was convertible, I never once converted it into a couch because I was super uninterested in lifting the massive frame because it was it was heavy. To be structurally sound for a novice, it means weight. And um, I was not prepared for exactly how much weight was going into it. This build, cute, serves as a great couch, sucks as a bed. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for that one idea that just makes me happy in all aspects of life. And I think that is getting rid of the bed entirely. Um, I want to be comfy. I want me and Maddie to be able to dog pile and sprawl out after a long day. So we're going to try out the blanket nest method. Um, I obsessed over this for an entire night. I had posted pictures on a couple sites and I got a lot of feedback and a lot of oohs and ahs and, and people commenting how pretty and cozy it looked. And when I thought about it, I was like, you know, that's all it is. It's If it's not comfortable, it doesn't matter how pretty and how cute it is. If you're not comfortable in your space, you can't live in it. And for the longest time, I really felt pushed into making it as homey as possible, not just for me, but for complete and total strangers. You know, it, I was fearing all of the negativity of people that walk by and I happen to have my doors flung open and it just dawned on me in a flash, you know, if people are going to be nasty to you, it doesn't matter how nice your rig is. If people are going to look down on you for living in a van, they're going to look down on you. No matter how much money you sink into it, how much work you put into it, they're not going to care. They're going to judge. So instead of focusing on that part of the lifestyle, I'm focusing on my own comfort. Something I never thought I'd say. I finished the build. I'm ripping out the bed. 